My name is Yvonne Ide, and here's what's happening in Narragansett Council. If you look around, you'll notice that the leaves are starting to change color, you can't walk down a crowded street without smelling a pumpkin spice latte, and the air feels crisp and cool. That can only mean one thing. It's everyone's favorite time of year, rechartering. The recharter system opened October 2nd, and all recharters are due November 30th. Everything is online now, so don't procrastinate. We want you to enjoy your turkey this Thanksgiving without worrying in the back of your mind about rechartering. Speaking of turkeys, don't forget about our recruiting incentive. The top recruiting unit in each district gets a pie for each registered family. And the overall top recruiting unit in the entire council gets a turkey for every registered family. Not just new applicants, every single registered family. Join us at the Roger Williams Park Zoo on October 17th for their spookyish Scout Family Fun Night at the Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular, or Sistinat Jewels for short. It will be an evening of fun for scouts, prospective scouts, friends, and family. Come visit the zoo after hours for animal encounters, keeper chats, and a Halloween dance party. Admission includes access to Faces of the Rainforest, World of Adaptations, the Farmyard, and other specially illuminated zoo exhibits. Attendees will also skip the line as they receive VIP access to the Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular. Tickets must be purchased in advance. Walk-in tickets will not be available. Sisfinat Jewels takes place, wait, are we really calling it that? The spookyish Scout Family Fun Night at the Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular takes place on October 17th and tickets are $35. You can find more information on the zoo website. Since 1988, the Scouts of Narragansett Council have helped feed families in need by collecting nearly 10 million pounds of food. The yearly Good Turn is the area's most impactful food drive and the largest annual Scout service project. Each year, Scouts leave door hangers for their neighbors, soliciting canned food items, and then return a week later to pick them up and deliver them to a food bank. Every unit and every scout should participate to help feed our neighbors in need. Unit leaders can pick up door hangers at any October roundtable. Rocket Adventure Day is an opportunity for new scout families to experience the adventures of scouting in one fun-filled day. Spend your day participating in all the outdoor programs found at Adventure Base Camp, including BB, archery, boating, craft station, outdoor cooking, and of course, rockets. If you missed our October date, be sure to sign up for Rocket Adventure Day at Camp Norse in Kingston, Massachusetts on November 12th. Go to ncbsa.org for more information and to get registered. Adventure at the Fort is just around the corner, and while registration is full for troops to camp overnight, there's still room to be a part of activities on Saturday, October 22nd, though the last day to register is October 15th. Come join thousands of scouts from around the area at Fort Adams for what promises to be a memory-making experience for scouts of all ages. The programs will be non-stop, highlighting unique scout activities and opportunities you will only find at the 2022 Adventure at the Fort. Find out more information and register at the Council website, ncbsa.org slash fort. Lastly, I want to tell you about a way that you could win some Dave & Buster's gift cards or a $200 gift card to Cape Cotter Water Park. How do you enter to win? One, take a photo of your scout participating in a wicked awesome scouting activity. Two, post it on Facebook or Instagram and tag your photos with hashtag scouting is wicked awesome. And three, upload it and set your post to public. We'll be selecting winners every other week and the grand prize winner will be announced on November 14th. Thank you to all of our unit leaders. It's because of you that scouting is thriving. That's what's happening. See you later, Narragansett Council.